Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. We also have a trailer for Mortal Engines, and I know absolutely nothing about this no, uh, me franchise. No, I'm assuming it's a book thing. series. I'm, I'm only guessing. I literally did no sure. research. And I guess it's a good place to be when you see something completely brand new. See, unlike something like Lord of the Rings, I was so I knew so much about it when I saw the movies, even though I loved them. This is something where it's like I come in completely blind, which is yeah. kind of cool to do. You won't yeah. know what happens. In Lord of the Rings, you, yeah. And it's Peter Jackson, so I'm willing to give it at least a watch. Mm-hmm. At, least, at least to give it a chance. But overall, I thought it was just okay. A lot of visualness. Like, it looked cool. Yeah. So apparently in the future, bad things happen, and now cities are in gigantic tanks. Think, think of like yeah. almost like a cross between the Jawas, uh, Jabba the Hutt yeah. palace. And Howling Moving Castle. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. So I guess apparently these other giant cities, I guess London's a big bad city who go around like swallowing other cities, taking their people, their resources. I'm assuming that's how it's working. Yeah. But um, the amount of power you would need to run something like that, even all our nuclear power plants on this planet today couldn't provide that much energy to move that much weight. Well, yeah, that's a lot I of mean, power. I mean, in the way that it's just trolling around, I mean... It just feels like this is so impossible, but I get that's yeah. the whole point of it. It looks fantastical. fantastical. Yeah. So we get like this girl, and she's wearing this red mask. Okay, Viva Vendetta kind of like person. I'm gonna yeah. go kill, you know, the leader, the, Elrond the bad guy. You know, Mister Anderson. Mr. <laughs> he's Agent, yeah. uh, it was Agent Smith. Agent Smith. Yeah. He's the bad guy apparently, and it, and it's and it seems almost simplistic. Oh, the guy who runs the big city. He's the evil white guy, and he wants to kill all the poor people. And it's like, can we get any more simple? Yeah. yeah. Is there more depth to this character than that? No, it doesn't seem like it. I, I would hope so, because sometimes it's better to have a villain that has a little more complexity than, I want to rule the world. Yeah, okay. well, and you know what I know some notices from the uh, special effects? They didn't it feel like Ready Player One. It kind of did. With the special uh, you know effects. What? It did have that feel. I didn't even think about that. But yeah. see, the thing about Ready Player One, where it gets away, it's supposed to be a virtual reality world. This is supposed to be all real. Yeah. yeah. So she goes to, like, assassinate him with, like, a knife. Why not stab him in his throat? Yeah. I... I Go to assassin school, you suck. But she stabs him, and then this guy's like, well, what are you doing? He stops him because he doesn't know yeah. any better. He just thinks you're going to go kill somebody. And they end up chasing after... And this is after he saves the, uh, the, guy, the bad yeah. guy character. He throws him off the thing yeah, to kill him, too. What a jerk! Well, and- sorry, this had to happen to you. So he's evil. He, he's evil co. He's, you know, Hitler 2.0. We get it. It's just... Yeah. You know what? But it's done in the most dumbest way yeah. possible. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been better if he, like, took him under his wing and tried to teach him why he killed the mother? Yeah, and it's then, like, oh, she's a rebel, or uh, she tried to blow up a facility. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Like, I thought he was going to try to, you know, do that, put in his yeah. tubelage. Oh, you saved my life, now I feel grateful. Yeah, I feel grateful, now no. I'll teach you why I do everything Of I course, do. it was a man that ruined everything, and it was the girl, the woman who's supposed to fix everything, and then another woman shows up, and a very, a mas- a very yeah. masculine woman, yeah. Yeah. comes in and starts kicking everyone's ass. It's just, it's just, look, enough's enough, we get it. Men suck, women are cool, we get it. And it's the- sad to see Peter Jackson going down this route. And I don't know if it's a book series, and that's the, it's just I have no idea. The, the thing is, the thing is, I wouldn't mind it so much, but we see we, it all the time. That's the problem. It's so innovative, so brave. When yeah. everyone's doing it, it, it starts to get stale and old. I know it's not your fault because if that's like your idea too, but it's almost to the point to where we is that. Guy, but why did you do it? That's it, don't, it, don't, it almost seems like that that guy character is like the bumbling silly fool. The other girl is like the cool assassin girl. She can do everything. And it's an Asian chick yeah. shows up and she's a superhero. And she has this cool plane. It's just, I don't See, know. I mean, contrast that with, with, with how they train your dragon. They were both equal. Yeah. They were equal. The guy wasn't treated like an idiot and she wasn't treated like an idiot. Is that so wrong? Can we have that? No. It's got to be the man's a moron. He messed it up somehow. He's I got idiot. a feeling this might bomb. This has a look to it like Jupiter Rising. And it might be oh, remember that, that Carter one? Remember that yeah, Carter John, Carter. John Carter? That's yeah, John Carter. Or even like Virilian. Yeah. It, it where it be. has this beautiful, it looks great, yeah. but it almost looks so great that you know it's well, fake. Well, I think, I think, yeah, I think that the, the casting for the two main characters was so often Virilian. Oh, my goodness. And, and also, it just audiences. Weirdo, creepy looking. <laughs> the audience is calling accept so much fakeness or so yeah. much fantasy, you could say. Here's the thing. What I loved about the first set of uh, the trilogy, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, they use real; those are the Orakai were dudes in suits and makeup, and there was a they use a lot of CGI, but there was also a lot of practical effects. Yes. There is absolutely zero practical effects in this. 
Yeah, see, that's why I like. That's why I think we have to learn the lessons. And I think one thing Lucas did with Star Wars, he used practical effects. There's nothing wrong with using that. Use Every, it when you can. I know you can't make a giant city, you know, roll oh, down. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But like when they're flying around, and flying, we all know it's fake. It's all fake, and it just doesn't. It has no weight to it. No. I, I don't know. I'm definitely. This is definitely another film. That's the only reason why I even gave it a chance for even touching this film is because Peter Jackson. Yeah. Even though I didn't like the Hobbit movies, the Lord of the Rings movies are classic to me. Oh yeah, very good. And the same problem happened. He started using lots of CGI in those films. And this is another movie that's like 99% CGI. I'm sorry. I think the best, I think, looking thing from Lord of the Rings that he did was The Shire. I thought it was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. It looked it like a real Shire for the Hobbits. It did. Yeah. But um, I'm not excited. Uh, or sound off in the comments. I don't know. Are you guys excited for this series? Do you Are you familiar with uh, yeah, do you know Mortal it's... Engines? Is this a book series? I'm assuming it is. Yeah. Uh, are you excited? Is it, does it faithful to the books? Because I literally have no idea. So enlighten me. Maybe I'm the moron and I'm not getting it. Just uh, let me know if... Uh, you guys enjoyed this trailer or uh, looking forward? Do you like the character portrayals? No, the characters look likable to me nah. or something I can attach to. It's like, nah. mm, the generic, one-dimensional, uh, I don't know. Uh, definitely on the down. This is like, yeah, yeah. like I said, my likability going to see this is like a 30. And for me personally, too, when it comes to sci-fi, I'm really a stickler. You got to really get my attention for me to like it. This is like a weird sci-fi fantasy. Oh, steampunk. Almost? Yeah, yeah, steampunky yeah, steam. kind yeah, of. I say, I don't, I don't really. I'm not a fan of that. I know there's some super weapon. Okay, the Death Star. Okay, we get it. It's like yeah. it just seems so tropish to yeah, me. It has a and even have, and, it, and the thing is, there's no one to have make it like a guilty pleasure movie either. There's no. <laughs> and my reviews have destroyed whole oh, cities. <laughs> oh, that's Mr. <laughs> Cedar. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, oh God, I love Glendale. But, but. Yeah, but that's the thing. They go, oh, there's a weapon. You can blow up the whole city. Okay, we get it. What is it? Is the it? only time movie I liked with a giant robot like that, like that's kind of like that, was like Wild Wild West with the spider. <laughs> I'm gonna fly like that movie. It's, it's... But um, yeah, definitely, definitely not something I probably won't go see. This unless something no. another trailer comes out and it really blows me away. This one kind of yeah. didn't really. Do no, it. it didn't. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.